Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Makeup Geek um, contour shades. I do, um, I store mine in this hot pink C palette. Uh, I also have three Makeup Geek blushers at the bottom here, but I'm not reviewing them today. I'm just reviewing the four contour, contour shades that I have um, today because they're new and people want to know what they're like before they splash out. I got mine off Beauty Bay. Um, I'll leave a link down below. They're £7.95 each, which I think is quite good for seeing the quality of them. And then I got the Medium C palette just to keep them in. Um, I have Bad Habit, which is a warm fur contour, contour shade. I have Infidelity, which is a cool fur contour shade, which you can definitely tell is a cool tone. Um, I will be doing swatches in a second. I also have Complicated, which is a cool medium contour shade, although as I show you when I'm applying this, I use this as a bronzer and it's definitely more of a warm tone shade um, than a cool tone shade, so I don't know why they called it that, but personally that's what I think. Um, and I have Half Hearted, which is a warm medium contour shade, which honestly is far too dark for me. Um, I could maybe switch it up into a bronzer, but again, um, I could use this on clients more than I could myself because it's just far too dark for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to swatch them and show you quickly. I think maybe my arm's probably the best place to swatch them. So um, I'll go under the swatch. Okay, so hopefully this is in focus. So first of all, we have Bad Habit, which is the shade that I use to contour. Then we have Infidelity, which is the real uh, cool tone um, contour shade which I think would be beautiful if you're into the more kind of ashy contour shades. Then we have Complicated which is the colour that I used to bronze with. I think it's an absolutely beautiful colour but I definitely think it's more of a warm tone um, rather than cool tone so I don't know why they called it that. And then we have Half Hearted which is the very dark contour shade which I would use in slightly darker skin people. Okay so now I'm going to move you on to um, how I put them on, what they look like applying and then I'll give you kind of my final thoughts, my review on it and would I recommend you to buy it. Okay, so what I'm the colour I'm going to use to contour is the first one in my palette, and I think it is called let me just double check Bad Habit. So that's the one that I'm going to contour with today, and I am going to bronze with the third one along, which is called um, Complicated, which is weird because this is actually a cool. Um, a cool medium contour and I normally like a, a warm bronzer but it seems to be like a really good colour to contour with. Also it kind of looks more, I don't know if you can see um, that one, it kind of looks warm to me. I don't know, a few people said that in the reviews and stuff so, um, but I'm going to use Bad Habit. I'm just going to get my Real Techniques contour brush, I've been really liking this to contour and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones. These are highly, highly pigmented, so you literally always need to tap your brush after. I always like to blend up just to kind of give it a softer look, like that. So if you compare non contour, contour, I think it's really, really nice. and. Obviously you can use um, darker um, shades for a more intense contour but I don't like to go too intense just because um, I, I want it to look natural. I want it to look like a natural sculpted shadow. Like I don't want it to look like I have this big brown line on my face, you know. So Bad Habit is the perfect colour if you're kind of my sort of skin shade or even a wee bit lighter you could probably get away or darker again depending on what sort of what sort of um skin or how how heavy you like your contour so i'm just going to go along with that 
And then the bronze up, as, as again, I said I'm going to use the third one along, which again, I can't actually remember the name. Complicated. And I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush, again, just the tiniest bit, and tap it off because it's so, so um, pigmented. And I'm just going to run around this around um, the kind of India 3 on my face. So down, down, and down. I like to get this right into my hairline because I have, well, I think I have quite a big um, forehead. So this just makes your forehead look a little bit um, smaller, which I quite like the look of. And then again, just down. And I also like doing this after I put my contour on because I find it just blends, um, blends your contour out quite a lot. Like, um, it makes it look more natural compared to having just a big dark line on your face. And just for the sake of the video today, I'm going to be using another makeup. Oh no, I just, oh, I just marked it. I don't know if you can see that, that's so annoying. I've been loving a really light blush lately and it's called Spellbound. Again, it's from Makeup Geek. I'm just using the Real Techniques blusher brush, dabbing it in. These are highly pigmented as well. I like a lighter blush because you can build it up to kind of the intensity that you want. Um, I don't like a lot of blush so I think it's nice that you can build it up. And I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on. I might as well just show it in the video because I'm doing everything else. Um, I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle with the Morphe um, 510 brush and just apply that to the highlight or the high points of my cheeks. I'm not going to do much highlight today because again, it's just kind of an everyday sort of look, although I'm wearing a very heavy eye, but so. Okay, so that's it on. I think it's really, really nice and natural. Okay, so that's it on. Um, I hope you like that wee demo sort of thing. Um, now, my final thoughts and reviews. I personally love these um, contour shades. Love the blushes as well, but obviously this is not about the blushes. They're absolutely gorgeous contour shades. They're so creamy and easy to blend, although they are powder contour um, shades. They're so, so easy to blend. Um, and I just think they're a really gorgeous product. Um, I think they're decently priced as well. The only thing is that if you do not have a C palette, they are awkward to store because um, they don't come in packaging. Um, so that's maybe something you need to think about. But you can also buy the small C palettes. And, um, I think they store one or two of these. I'm not too sure. Um, and also I think this kind of helps with the shade picking as well. I personally think Bad Habit is kind of the, the most overall kind of contour shade that everybody can wear. But also um, I think it's called Infidelity. That is also a gorgeous, really, really grey, ashy tone um, contour shade that if you do not like the warmer contour or you're slightly paler or anything like that, I think that would really suit you too. Again, I do not have all eight shades, there are eight shades, so it's a brilliant, um, a really, really good selection of shades that you can pick from. I only decided to pick up four because, again, I was scared of getting all eight in case I didn't like the texture, I didn't like the way that they were. But I might go ahead and pick up a few more because, as I said, I do make up on other people, so it's always good to have a range of colours in my collection. So, overall, yes, I would definitely recommend these in anyone's collection if you're a makeup lover and if not I would say pick up one that you think is going to be your colour because they're such an easy contour shade and I think a lot of people especially beginners are a wee bit scared of contouring because they think oh what happens if I mess up and I make myself look muddy or um, if it doesn't blend right and I'm going to have a line you won't have the problem with these because they do blend so seamlessly they blend so easily and without much effort either so it's really hard to go wrong when contouring with these Makeup Geek um, contour shades. So yeah, I think um, that they're a great product. Makeup Geek always bring out great products. I actually have all Makeup Geek shadows on my eyes today. Um, and I just think Makeup Geek really, I'm not sponsored. They haven't sent me these. I bought these with my own money. Um, but I just think Makeup Geek are a great company. They produce great products at decent prices. 
and it's great now that we can get them in the UK off Beauty Bay. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's all I really have to say. I guess it's just a quick review. I was requested, I posted these on my Snapchat and I got quite a lot of people commenting or Snapchatting me back saying, please do review on these. I don't know if I want to buy them or not and if they're any good. I would love to see a review. So I know there's quite a lot of reviews out here on YouTube, but I thought I would join along and do a review on a few of the contour shades so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i really hope you enjoy and i'll see you in the next video bye